I lost my funds in Seedbox Philippines for over three months. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a bit about lifestyle and I talk a lot about personal finance and investments. Yes, you've heard that right. I'm sharing here with you how I lost my funds, but I'm also gonna share with you how I eventually recovered this investment. To be honest, I've felt a little embarrassed because having lost some of these funds was entirely my fault. And for those of you who are invested in Seedbox Philippines, please do watch on just to make sure that you don't encounter the same problems that I have. If you're already in the same situation, I'm really sorry to hear that. I'll be sharing here how you can avoid the same mistake that I've done. This isn't really a rant against Seedbox Philippines. I have acknowledged my fault in all this. So Seedbox Philippines, you're off the hook. Well, sorta. How did I lose my funds for over three months and how did I recover them? Let's find out. So back in 2021, I received a message from one of my subscribers and he asked me about the withdrawal process from the Seedbox platform. Fair enough, I actually haven't done the withdrawal process myself. I've been focused on the investing part. So to round out my recommendation of Seedbox, I of course obliged and wanted to share this with Red. So working on the withdrawal, I logged into my Seedbox account, went into my dashboard and viewed my funds. And I picked the first fund from the list I selected the Atram Global Financials Feeder Fund. I clicked on the minus button representing redemption. So on the next page, you indicate whether you'll be doing a full redemption or a partial redemption. And there's this toggle that you can move around. And I toggled it to a little over 1,000 pesos. And I clicked on the checkbox to agree to the terms and proceeded to confirm my partial redemption from the said funds. Now everything seemed to flow smoothly. I got my email confirmation that my redemption was being processed, so I was expecting my redemption to happen within 5 business days. Now a little over a week went by, no crediting was still happening, so I decided to check my Seedbox dashboard again to check if everything was in place, and this is where I find out I had put in the wrong details in my account number. My account number had an extra zero, an extra digit within the sequence of numbers. Thus, I realized I made a crucial mistake. No wonder why my funds just weren't getting credited. I of course quickly changed my account number and I quickly wrote to Seedbox Philippines, telling them of my mistake and asking them about the status of my redemption. Now from my initial inquiry from the Seedbox website, I actually don't think that they understood because they gave me a canned reply telling me that the processing period would be five business days for equity feeder funds and seven business days for bond funds. So I quickly restated my case and got an assurance from them that the funds were being processed that I should just continue to check my bank account if my redemption has indeed been credited. So a few days went by, maybe another week or so, I still wasn't getting my funds. So I made another redemption, another withdrawal request. This time, my account number was already correct. And encouragingly enough, I got my redemption within 5 business days, but this would be for the second redemption. My first redemption was still in limbo. So weeks turned into more weeks. Again, I didn't want to press Seedbox Philippines too hard. So let's fast forward. Between October to January, I actually wrote Seedbox Philippines about 9 times. And they actually wrote back only 5 times. So maybe if I had any qualms, maybe that's it. The last time I heard from Seedbox was on December 9th. They asked me if I had received my funds already, to which I told them I didn't get it yet. So I let the holidays and the new year season go by. By the last week of January, that's when I decided to send an email to Seedbox that would really express my urgency and maybe a bit of my disappointment. Aww. I told them that I just wanted to hear from them. If they told me that my funds were lost and it was completely my fault because of inputting the wrong account number, then I'd accept it. But I just wanted to hear it from them. Were my funds really lost or should I still expect something? Surprisingly, on that very same day, Seedbox wrote back to me that they apologized for the delay and that they were investigating the matter. What had happened was that the check was actually rejected by the bank. So the check was returned and only then did they make a new check that would be made out to me with the right bank account number. So it was February 3 when they told me that a new check was being deposited and by the next day, I finally got the credit into my bank account. So that about wraps up the three month journey that my funds took from Seedbox into my bank account. I hope you don't find yourself in the same situation. But thinking back, 
what are my key takeaways? Obviously, the first would be just getting the details right in the first place before proceeding recklessly as I did. Number two, I actually think that this might have been resolved much quicker if I had expressed more urgency. And yes, being nice goes a long way, but I didn't really move the needle until I got a little bit more demanding when I expressed my urgency. So guys, be nice, but also be more pressing. And number three, my third takeaway from all this, while I have no doubt that Seedbox will continue to improve their platform in such a way that these occurrences that are prone to human error will be avoided, I think a lot of all this would have been avoided if I just had invested by Gcash or any of the banks that I previously mentioned. Again, this is not a knock on Seedbox Philippines, but I'm just calling it as it is. If you invest via Gcash, G Invest, or any of the bank UITF that I previously mentioned, of course you'd avoid these manual errors because your account number would be hard-coded into the system, the redemption and the withdrawal would come automatically. I continue to advocate investing through third-party platforms. I always talk about GoTrade, I talk about eToro, Seedbox Philippines, and there's also Seed in Technology. So these platforms are platforms that I continue to use. But of course, there's that reality that when you are working with third-party platforms, you of course are exposing yourself to some risk, again with some manual errors. So when you do invest through these platforms that are outside your bank, just be very careful about what you input. It was good that I was able to retrieve my funds, but sometimes inputting wrong account details can result to your funds being lost or you being penalized for it, you have to be very careful of how such wrong details can impact your funds. Thanks again for watching guys. And again, I hope you don't find yourself in the same situation that I did. So if you've liked this video, please don't forget to comment, like, and consider subscribing. I also have a new Instagram page. And on my Instagram, I share with you everything that I don't get to share here on YouTube. Maybe just some small trade positions, day-to-day -day reviews of things that I don't get to cover as a full-length video. Thanks again for watching guys and happy investing!